Good morning, YouTube! <laughs> Hi, my name is Tyler, and welcome to my part of the internet. Uh, for those of you who are actually watching, thank you. For those who aren't, whatever. You're probably just not watching because, well, this probably isn't your thing. More power to you. I'm doing this more for myself than anything else. Um, well, let's get started. Uh, first off, I'd just like to talk about the last video that I made. Um... Yeah, I wasn't really in the right mind for it. Uh, I was just ticked. I was really ticked off. And just like to apologize for some, to some of the people if for some reason you were offended by it. I was trying to. I'm uh, just simply stating. Uh, outside of that, um, uh, for those of you who are concerned, no, it was not filmed first thing in the morning. So don't get the impression that I am a morning alcoholic. Uh, I'm really not by any means or any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it was about mid-afternoon, probably about 4, 4.30, uh, when I actually recorded that. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I'm not really an alcoholic. It's just I was having a bad day. <laughs> actually, I'm kind of having a bad week. Uh, case in point, that's why this particular video is dubbed as such. Um, reasons I'm having a bad week are... First off, that one thing, uh, or from the last video, I, just really something that set me off. It, it put me in a bad place, and I was not very happy about that at all. Uh, second thing, as to why it's really not my week, I, well, it's actually not even me. Um, two of my roommates, um, I'm not going to drop their names because I don't know if they actually want to be mentioned on this or not. Um, they pretty much left me and my other roommate with the rest of the rent. Hear me out. They have a kid, and they understand things are kind of being stressful with us, just with the fact that they have a child here. But, um, they needed to try to find a place when the lease was up. Well, they found a place, but they kind of had to move into sooner before the lease was up. And it was kind of short notice, but as of right now, everything is being taken care of. Uh, so that just that in itself, it was just really stressful. Did not put me in the right state of mind, and it wasn't fun. Um, finally, uh, I got suspended from work. Yeah, not happy about it. Um, had nothing to do with what was going on with last week's video. It was actually something uh, a little more recent. I'm not going to go into details because really I shouldn't be talking about. A whole lot of work-related stuff in regards to the internet. So, sorry, I'm going to have to leave you guys out of the loop. For those who do know, then you know. Moving on, let's talk about my YouTube history. When I first started YouTube, it was back in 2007, so it was a little while ago. Um, I pretty much joined YouTube like the rest of America joined YouTube. So we can verify that we're 18 years of age, and for some people, lie about the fact that we're not, in fact, 18 years of age, so that we can watch certain videos on the internet. Um, you know, a lot of music videos, stuff like that. Uh, and I really, I really didn't do anything with that YouTube account. Actually, I take that back. I think I started it probably closer to 2005, really, just so, again, I could just watch those videos that you needed to verify your age with. Uh, Back in 07, um, my friend Zach um, came to me, and he knew that I had a digital camera. Um, probably wasn't the best quality at the time, but he wanted to know if I could come to a couple of the shows that he was doing and pretty much record some videos for his band called Graves. Um, you can see some of their performances um, on my YouTube channel. So, you know, just click the little link that says Crazy Caravan Man or Crazy Mini Van Man. I can't remember what the hell it is anymore. Back, again, back in 07. <laughs> really need to change that. Probably move these videos over to a different one. Um, but yeah. He, he came to me for that, and I also had a kind of a strange, funny idea where I thought it'd be great to do some interviews with them. So, it was a four-man band. Um, you have Danny D. Cells, Danny, I can't remember what the heck his name is, Josh and Zach. All four of those guys I took interviews with. And 
<laughs> I never tried to make them serious at all. Um, I know they didn't take them seriously at all, uh, especially after they saw Zach's, which was the first person I decided to do because, you know, best friend, why not? Let's make a stupid little interview kind of thing. And so I did that. It went up on the internet and got a lot of views. So I decided, why not? I'll do the rest of the band every time that I go to their different shows and get different recordings. Um, needless to say, they're no longer a band anymore. Um, not because they really, you know, went their separate ways in regards to, you know, like a falling out, like, you know, corn with head or anything. Um, they just needed to go their separate ways. It's understandable. Can't really blame them for it. I had pitas earlier. Delicious. Cherry Coke. Ha ba. Ha ba. My favorite. Um. So, yeah. That was that. Um. You know what? I think I'm going to move on to something else now. This next segment I'm going to refer to as... Nerd Music. Let's start off with what you just heard there. There in that little, you know, thing. Uh, that's a band called Shockwave. They haven't been around for a while. I don't know everything about them. I just know that I recently heard about them thanks to a get-together with none other than my friend Zach. Um, he came back from New York a few months back, and when we went to a barbecue in his honor, um, one of his friends was wearing a Shockwave shirt, and I'm like, holy crap, that's awesome, because what it was was it was the Decepticon symbol all up on his chest with it saying Shockwave on the top, but on the Decepticon symbol itself, it had like a bandana around its face, so it was like, you know, Shockwave with the Decepticon symbol like that. And I thought that was really neat, and I asked him about it, and he said they were a, a hardcore band that was just really nerdy and friggin' loved Transformers, especially on the Decepticon side. And I, 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 I searched the internet for it forever, and I got back in touch with Zach, and sure enough, he knew everything about them, and he told me where I could get their music, so I downloaded everything. Um, as To my knowledge, they have three albums out. Uh, one's called The Ultimate Doom, one's called... Um, Dominicon, and I can't remember what the third one is off the top of my head, but I'm sure at some point I'll be able to get back to that. Um, I'm, but yeah, nerdy music. Let me get to the base of this. Nerd music can be anything. Uh, you have your MC Chris, who talks about just dorky stuff in general, along with uh, smoking and marijuana, and a number of other things, including drinking, like most rappers will do. Except he's not all about the whole bitches and hoes kind of thing. Um, but you know you have your you have your nerd rappers out there with you know the nerd core, um, but then again you have some things that are a little subliminal that they kind of tuck in there. Um, case in point, um, this band is called the Flaming Tsunamis. I heard about them when I went to a local band show and they were doing a tour. Now, unfortunately, those guys aren't around anymore. Um, this song uh, is entitled uh, Category Chasm. Exit 11, and about 2 minutes and 30 seconds into the song, you hear something very familiar. And I mean, it's kind of awesomely familiar. By this, I mean the intro to X-Men. And if you give me a second, here you go. Alright, real quick, I just want to apologize. The name of that song by the Flaming Tsunamis isn't uh, Category Chasm Exit 11, it's Purgatory Chasm Exit 11. It, it is 2 minutes 30 seconds in when you actually hear that part, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. Um, the next one I want to talk about is by a group called I Rustled a Bear Once. These guys are freaking amazing in regards to their musical talent. They have a female vocalist that you can't tell is actually a female vocalist at first, because she's just so freaking brutal until you get to like a really, really slow part, which is unheard of with these crazy hardcore bands. But you get to the slow part, and she has the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. She completely blows Amy Lee out of the water. So she can so go suck something, like a rock or something. I don't know. Might have musical talent in there if she sucks out of it. But, <clears throat> but yeah, these guys are great. And I kind of want to see them live, but until then, here's this song. Um, back when I was in Salanum, um, 
one of my buddies, or one or our guitarist who taught me how to play the bass, um, showed them to me. And this is one of the first songs outside of uh, Tastes Like Kevin Bacon. This song is called uh, Ulrich Firelord, Breaker of Mountains. They have pretty awesome names for their songs. Um, this thing that he kind of introduced me to, he's like, dude, you gotta hear this. I call it Go Go Gadget Breakdown. Because it's... It's the... It's it's the Inspector Gadget intro, you know, that da na 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 thing. And it's a two part breakdown where it's like really fast and then just do 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 Well, here, here for yourself. That's what I said when Danny showed me that, and I, I, I nearly lost my, lost my shit, and it was amazing. It just completely threw, threw me for a loop, and shortly after that, he's like, "By the way, we have something that we want to show you," and he, he just completely blew me away, because we, we were trying to write a song, a new song, and they didn't really know what direction they were going to take it. I it ended up having nothing to do with this particular thing that I'm about to mention, but. For all of the uh, for all the people that are Transformer fans, such as myself, we ended up using this awesome, awesome, shanty little tune um, as a breakdown in our song, and it's the like the Transformers, you know, the original gen first generation um, segue point, um, you know, the da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. and. If we had a recording of that song, I would play that little segment for you. Unfortunately, we don't, and it's it, 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 it eats away at me. Because that's something I was very proud of. I was a part of that, and it was awesome. Sweet. Um, but in the lack of that, I'm going to go ahead and play that for you on this old-ass guitar that I got probably back in 2005, 2006. I'm not quite sure what year. But uh, first, I'm actually going to play it for you. A little explanation and then turn around and I'm actually going to show you um, how to play it. Uh, don't know tabletry or, you know, the name of the chords. I just know finger placement. I was a really bad student. But, all right, here we go. Awesome. And you, that goes for a couple of times, and then it turns into, you know, just a full-on, like, you know, no finger point breakdown. Just boom. So, let me show you. Believe me, it sounds a lot more epic when, you know, the drums are in there, the rest of the guitars, the vocalist, and just, just bleh, screams and everything. It, it was the most metalist Transformers thing I'd ever heard outside of Shockwave, which, by the way, um, the other the number, the other name of that album uh, that I mentioned earlier, uh, that one is called Omega Supreme. Um, so remember that if you're going to download the music. Um, the Ultimate Doom, Dominicon, and Omega Supreme. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, that was that, and here's actually how you play it. Um, utilize the top two chords, and try to do this with as little finger in the way thing as possible. Uh, you go to the bottom of the two chords and just open. Go to the this point right here, and then right there. And then repeat that so it's. Then you transfer to the top string. Just and then just open and finger down. So all together it's. So if you guys ever just want to get bored and play that uh, on your guitars, do it. It's really fun. Um, 
And along with the rest of the nerd music that I'm going to go ahead and talk about today, um, brings me back to a couple of other things. Um, number one, Zach's band, Graves. Uh, they had a couple of really awesome songs that I was actually able to record and put on YouTube, so if you guys want to check those out, you're more than welcome to. Um, first one is called Foot Clan Apocalypse for all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans. Um, really awesome song, just, We are afraid to die. Foot Clan Apocalypse. I'm outside right now, I'm on my porch, I'm kind of having difficulties with outside sounds, um, but that's why I'm not screaming it. Uh, and then the other thing they had was um, Trepidation of an American Mouse. If that sounds kind of interesting, it is, because it's actually about uh, um, Bible Goes West or Bible's Great American Tale, whatever the heck it was called. I can't remember, it's been a while since I've seen those movies. Um, so yeah, nerd music. It's good stuff. A um, couple of other things you guys probably check out if you're really into that deep, you know, guttural, brooding um, music is um, uh, this band called Emir. Really awesome. A uh, couple of the titles that they have in regards to their songs is um, Children of Cybertron, which is just epic and awesome. And pretty much most of the lyrics are, we are unstoppable, uh, we are unbreakable. You really don't hear anything in regards to them actually mentioning Transformers until right at the end of the song where, the, where you hear the vocalist go, God, God. Um, The others are um, uh, Demons with Ryu or Ryu. I can't remember. Um, then you got uh, R2 Deep Throat, Star Wars reference. And finally, uh, Soundwave Superior. Which, again, I don't know if that one actually has any reference to uh, Transformers, but uh, it's still pretty awesome. Well... Since we have all that knocked out of the way, um, I think it's time that I'm going to have to say my goodbyes. I think that is, in fact, going to be it for me this week. Um, if you, the viewer, like I said last week, um, who happened to be watching this, uh, have anything that maybe you guys want to talk about, maybe leave a comment or something um, in the comment section down below, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm going to try to come up with more topics, but it's definitely helpful if you guys give me something to talk about. Um, until next time. You guys have a great day, and I'll try to have a better week. Bye.